Thursday. It's like five o'clock. I'm not sure it's necessarily the best time, but I'm in the mood to do it and I wanted to bring you guys with me. It's kind of return back to the source. And I have so many things in my hands and uh, I kind of want to get going. So we're going to take a car and we're kind of going to do half of it in the car, half of it walking, I think. So yeah, should we take the R8? R8 it is, let's go. Bonjour. Audi R8. Comment ça va? Oui, oui. Oui, oui. <laughs> Look how tight this is. Okay, this car is pretty wide, in fact, very wide. So film it like driving on the little Monegas roads. Look, look, look. It's not the easiest in the world. Okay, so I think we hit a casino square, obviously. I think we go down towards Font Vieille, it's called. Look here, Lotus Garage. Some nice Lotuses there. Ferrari, 48 Pista. That doesn't really count though. We want to see cars in the wild. So I reckon, yeah, then we go by a Fonvier, we do all that jazz, the port, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll find something. Also, what I want to do is I want to do the kind of far areas by driving, but then I want to stop and I want to go see some car spotters. Because the other day, like I was driving the car around and um, there were some car spotters, some that I know, some some that I didn't, um, who were like saying hi and I was waving and, and you know, able to kind of briefly communicate with them, which was lovely, you know, like stop and just say hi and stuff. But I really felt like that's, you know, what, what I kind of grew up doing and I don't do it anymore. And I don't want to like just drive around in a, in, a, in a cool car and not do the car spotting anymore because I don't think it's because, you know, you drive a, a cool car that you don't get joy out of car spotting. Like Shmi shows, like Paul shows. Um, so I really wanted to get back and do that and just um, really go back to base and not kind of, like I feel like YouTube and a few YouTubers or whatever kind of, it makes you put yourself above certain things, which I don't think is smart, um, justified, or the right thing to do. So I'm driving around because of the practicality of the car to see if there are cars around at first, but then I want to stop and I want to meet up with some car spotters and see what they've seen today and get their knowledge because I'm a grandpa now. I haven't done this in ages, so they've probably got a lot more knowledge than I do. Then we can make the most of walking around. Casino Square, here we go. What do we have? <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> A45 AMG. Ooh, ooh, Cullinan, Cullinan, 918. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. So cool. Wraith, Volzan, Ghost, Aston, Already a hypercar, that's a good start. The Cullinan, we got the Cullinan. Well, I think the 918 might drive fast, so we stopped in like a little lay-by, and now I'm just checking my mirrors, and hopefully it'll come by, and then we can maybe even follow it. Yes, 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 so cool. Oh yeah. Great success. So for, for a, a, you know, a, a no longer experienced car spotter, not too bad. Wow. G-Wagon. So 918 of these in the world. This one's in dark blue, very red. What's here? Yacht Club. Porsche. 992, 992. Ah, 488, GTB, Spider. What a pop. I mean, it's one thing if it was parked up at a casino, but seeing it driving, this is cool. He must be telling himself, who is this idiot with a loud and very, very unclassy and showy Audi R8? Do 918s have lift? I'm sure they do. No! Okay. Au revoir, monsieur. This hotel, usually there's quite a bit of stuff, Meridian, but today, not too much. Very, oh look, there's a beetle. Right. Uh, ah, Beach Club. Here we are, Monte Carlo Beach Club. Uh, Ferrari F40, F430, sorry. Uh, Cullinan, very cool. Portofino. Uh, Mustang, Rolls, Porsche. Portofino, that, you see. Very cool. Wow, Ooh. 812, super fast. Aston Martin, Vanquish, Volante. I have to admit, having the V10 to go between spotting spots, areas, 
this place. It feels really, really nice. I enjoy it. Right, we're going in front of McLaren. Anything, anything? Nope. 600 LT inside. Ferrari. Ferrari, anything? Nope. Uh, FA Tributo Spider over there, all the way in the back. Portofino. Okay, guys, so we parked. And we are going to come see this as a gato. The car, my car is somewhere back there. But let's spot this. Oh, look, super cool. Very, very cool. Brabus G63. Aston Martin Vanquish Zagato Roadster. This, at one point, they were trading for like 800,000 pounds. Very, very, very rare. Very cool. Okay, he's saying that the lights are cool. They're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, V12, naturally aspirated. You see the Z. The Zagato Z right there. Roadster, so you can't really have the double bubble roof, but it is so, so sick looking. Well, all you can see is us showing you this, like, look, doesn't it look good? Like, all you can see is a reflection. Carbon all over the place. This is kind of like a second hypercar that we spotted. Uh, it's not got the power and stuff, but it's got the price. Ooh, off goes a Porsche. 992 Carrera S convertible. Uh, very, very nice. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah, well, shall we uh, get walking? We can go Fairmont, sit there. Right, we've just kind of arrived at uh, Fairmont now. There were a few people, like subscribers at Casino Square, which is cool, but they were with their families on holiday. So we're not really going to um, be like joining up with their holidays. Hey guys, can we join you? We're arriving at Fairmont. There's a few interesting little bits and bobs. And then we're going to sit around here and do our... This is so much fun. I really enjoy doing this. I've missed this. This is going to be a good time. Right now, we've got a bloody bus as well. There is a little bit of a lineup starting with a very weird velvet Range Rover. Range Rover Sport. I mean, this thing is, how old is that? I must get soap, look when it gets dirty. How horrible that looks. Uh, yeah, anyways, that is here, present. What else do we have? Oh, we have a matte army green G-Wagon. The new G63, you can see this from the LEDs in the back. Very cool looking, blacked out wheels. Matte army green, very nice actually. Suits the car, which originally had a kind of like army esque look to it, so it kind of really suits that well. Black details, black stuff around the wheels. So, yeah, there's so much stuff. Um, what do we have? No, one of the things that I wouldn't necessarily have on this is round here, that should be black, I feel. That shouldn't be in a kind of contrasting color. And right here, why is this chrome and everything else has been de chromed apart from the badge? But this, fun fact, you can't actually spec this in black from Mercedes. If you want to do it, you have to do it yourself. And a friend of mine did that, you have to get that wrapped, which is quite a complicated piece of wrap. Now, down here, we have 488 Pista. Very, very, very nice. This, oh, I mean, this is just such a beautiful car. They really, really nailed the design on these. And uh, the way, like, for me, the V8, um, hardcore V8s, this is the best looking one. So what do we have spec-wise? We've got a very, I don't know the name of this exact color. Beautiful color. I'm not sure it's triple layer. Could well be, and I could be, you know, just, I don't know, a Scooby about Ferrari paint colors. But it does look very nice. We've got silver and is that dark blue or black dark blue it looks like yeah in the center and then silver rims which on this car sorry i'm just taking my mask off because there's no one around this car works quite well carbon fiber all the way around the front and the silver works well because of the silver stripe there so then we've got yellow brake calipers yellow details around and then we've got carbon fiber all the way on the diffuser as well so carbon on the ferrari logo carbon also all the way in the engine bay so it looks super, super cool. All in all, I think this is one of the best looking Ferraris, non-stop, but then, uh, uh, you know, mid-engine V8 Ferraris for sure. So we've got, this is actually quite nice, 507 edition G63. So you can see it's a 507 because you've got the stripe here. And then you've got the um, 507 edition rims, matte black, old school version, and then uh, Nissan GTR. But before we get there, Look what we have behind the corner, the Ferrari F430. Now this one is a little bit older. If my voice gets clearer, it's because I take the mask off at certain points and there aren't people around. This is a slightly older one, so it hasn't got the sports seats. It does have the F1 gearbox like mine. And it's also come very close and gotten, you know, really well acquainted with the side of the road, the sidewalk. So uh, yeah, it's been completely annihilated on that wheel and it's not much better on any of the other wheels. So then we've got in the front, what's different, very noticeably different to mine, is this front lip right here. So this front lip on mine is carbon fiber. And I actually think it does look good all in yellow like that. But one thing that bothers me is I always thought that kind of looked like a little bit of a mouth with two eyes. And once you see it, you can't really unsee it. And having that blacked out kind of gets rid of that look. Whereas here you can kind of, I don't know, is that just me? Or now that you've seen it, will you never be able to unsee it on fully body painted um, little bottom parts there on F430s? 
And then a Nissan GTR with carbon fiber and gold brake caliper. So very, very cool. That's a pretty good round. Now we're, we're just gonna go sit here and spot some cars. Green RS6. <laughs> what? M4. What do you think of the RS3, yes or no? It's uh, back to the basics, car spotting. It feels good. Matte black SL. Now, usually, it's, oh, that was an S65. Usually, there are so many people here in summer. And why have we come the only day they aren't spotters? Because I was so excited to kind of relearn spotting from spotters. And now we're alone, so I think we're just going to wait. Where are you guys? Come, come here. We're waiting for you. Vlog. Vlog, vlog, vlog. We oui, must vlog. Luxembourg. Bentley Continental GTC. Oh, we oui. Champion! So that, oh, I'm zoomed in. That uh, yellow Renault was quite cool. Is that actually a guy who watches our French channel? And we surprised him. Did a huge surprise um, organized by his girlfriend. He's a fireman here in Monaco, and uh, we really wanted to like, kind of thank him for everything he did during COVID. And so he went and did a surprise, and now, Jibé, he's called, he just drove back past here. And uh, so that was a funny coincidence. And his car's sick as well. Guys, look, the Vanquish S Volante. Oh, the noise. Another Rolls Royce Cullinan. It's huge. Ferrari, Portofino. Oh, hello, excuse me. Hi. Portofino. Beautiful. Oh, what? <laughs> Long bad, black. Do you like that? Uh, white, matte, Bentley. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna move because there's no cars. We were there for like an hour or so, nothing going on. So we're gonna go down to right here which is what we actually used to call, I don't know if people still call it, we call it Cipriani Corner, because there's the Cipriani restaurant. So yes, Cipriani Roundabout actually. So we're gonna go there, hopefully, oh is that a pimped out Twizzy? Oh. That is, it's three Twizzies. Okay, very uninteresting. <laughs> Clearly lost the groove with the spotting thing if I'm showing you guys Twizzies. Rolls, Wraith. Oh, range. Rolls, hello. Ferrari. Portofino, la Ferrari. Cullinan, look at that. But well, we just keep seeing the same cars, ain't that right, Kerwan? Yes. <laughs> yes, GT3. Accelerate, come on, lad. Come on, oh. Ah, turbo. Turbo. All right, guys, so. Uh, we spent quite a bit of time down there. There was nothing, and now we've just got a call uh, from a friend of ours who's waiting outside home, and we have the keys. So we need to go. So we're gonna end the video here. Kerwan, you enjoyed it? Yes, uh, I enjoyed it, right? Would you do it again? Absolutely, fantastic. <laughs> On that jolly note, there wasn't too much of a fail. What was a fail was meeting up with uh, other car spotters. That was a total fail, but we did follow a 918. Oh, so what is this? Sabrina? Sabrina. That is bold. It's like Tiffany blue. Anyways, uh, we followed a 918. But yeah, there was, a, there was a lot of good stuff in this video and I really enjoyed it and I'm going to do this again. So thank you for watching, guys. I will see you again very, very soon. And uh, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers.